Jane Orvian. I'm sure you can see with our Swedish friend here, we are going to look at some bandaging. And I thought before we start, bandaging is something that we kind of do every day, even if it's just for a little IV support bandage. So there's a few things to remember for your exam. This is likely how it will be set up, that you will have a choice of, if you can see, seven and a half and five centimetre. You've got a pen for if you need to mark the bandage. You have got scissors for cutting your bandage. I know some of you will be ripping, but in the exam this might be a little bit better when your hands are a bit stressed. Gloves, because we're gonna need that for when we are handling our dressings. So a couple of things before we start. You're gonna have a reasonably long-legged dog. Thank you, Swedish friend. So my recommendation is ignore the five centimeter, just forget it exists, and get your seven or your seven and a half centimeter, whichever brand they are using. Thank you to the lovely people at Mill Pledge because this is beautiful bandaging and it is the best, um, softest padding that you can get, which is brilliant. So my advice would be for seven, a couple of reasons. You're going to need to open less because this covers the leg quickly because it's 50% bigger than the five centimeter. Also, you're gonna get a much easier ratio when you have to overlap. And remember that the overlap's really important for a strength of bandage. If you don't do that half to two thirds overlap, the bandage is gonna break off when the examiner checks it so that is super important so select your seven and a half the exam usually asks you to select equipment it does actually make it easier because then you can say I've got gloves pen scissors wound if you need it and your bandage material so you can actually have it all and see if you needed a splint or cotton wool or whatever it was that you needed get that there because then you can forget about the rest of the equipment and it's not going to worry you at all. So that would be my start. Get your equipment, choose the seven, and then we'll go on and next we'll talk about how you're going to hold your patient. Thanks for watching.